Ben here from the Chris Packet Project. A lot of people have asked me about plastic, so I thought I'd best uh, do a little video about plastic. I get my lovely plastic from the Hastings Sofa Company and also from Spiden Street's uh, food waste um, bags. This is the ideal plastic you want. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, um, nice and clear, scrunch up really easily because you'll need four sheets of this on your biffy bag. And so if you go for something a bit thicker like this, you're gonna find it, they're gonna find it really hard to roll up once it's all done. Um, also, it's not, it doesn't fuse as well to the crisp packets. Um, generally, you can get these from like carpet centers. These are great for like making handles. So uh, don't, don't totally sort of disregard them because um, you can make a lovely handle out of that for your biffy bag after you've made it. Or you could just roll it up and put it in the end of it, cut it off, um, and then you've got a smaller bag there. Again, you want to stay away from this sort of plastic. It's just too thick, too bulky. Um, um, again, you could make handles out of that. Uh, so this is the best plastic to stick with. Try and stay away from the biodegradable plastic. You obviously you want it to last try and go for the plastic that hasn't got the paint on it because you'll find that you won't it won't bond too well and obviously there's probably some toxins that you don't want to get involved with um so yeah just try and try and stick with the clearer plastic all right so i hope that's a little bit clearer for you <laughs> little bits you have left over that um uh, you know you can't really do much with you just screw them all up save them floating everywhere in the in the landfill or the ocean sadly